I came into the studio this morning and I looked at the drawing uh, that I had on the wood block and realized the head wasn't as tilted as down as what I needed so kind of rigged up this little template here so that I could adjust the head bend because what I want is the eyes need to be looking down at a point just in front of the figure's feet. All right, now that I have the profiles drawn out on the two sides and actually the front and back, uh, I want to release the piece that I'm going to be sculpting from from this larger piece of wood. So I have set up a straight line jig for my skill saw and because the skill saw only can go so deep, I will cut one side, another, under, and around. Okay, so now we have a smaller and lighter piece of wood to deal with. That's much better. And I have another piece of wood here to do something else with. Get that out of the way. All right, so at this stage of the game now, I just I want to make sure everything is in place. So not only did I draw the profile on the two sides, but I also did the back, the front, and from those four markings then I could come up with basically the top looking down getting a sense of where the shoulders and the back arms make sure that I'm heading in the right direction and everything matches up so then what I did was I, I was very strategic in my way of approaching this so that um, I've drawn all these different lines they are numbered and so I will follow along here's the first cut which will take this corner off you can see I've, I've drawn lines all the way around so that I can get a nice, good, uh, clean cut there. Number two takes off this portion here. I come down here for number three, a stop cut. Uh, number four cuts down, and then down to five, another stop cut. Six comes all the way down. Then I come in with the saw this way, seven. So you can see I've just kind of uh, step by step process. Now whether I completely follow that when I get the chainsaw out and start working is another thing, but at least I have a plan.